What's up, y'all? I got some very special guests, good friends of mine, and my business partners with Ambrosia. We got the machine, Mark Lowliner. We got the brains, Sean Body. What are we doing today, Mark? Hey, you know what? One of the best things I think that's ever hit the internet is our 100 rep dumbbell press challenge. Still, millions of views were killing on that. So people keep asking, keep asking when are you gonna do it again? We've already done the chest thing, but what are we known for? We're known for some big delts. So how do you get big delts? You press some heavy weight over your head. That's real. So one thing that we all agree on is being efficient with our workouts, right? Hey, y'all know me, I'm all about the basics, the basics. People try to do all this fancy shit. I'm like, okay, that's cool. I'm gonna stick to the basics. And one thing that I've been doing just to uh, be more efficient with my time, I don't have time to be in the gym for two hours a day. So sometimes I have to get a quick workout. You know, I got a little bit of equipment in my garage, not a full gym, but a little bit, but it's enough for me to do what I gotta do. And one thing that I have been doing is I'll just throw 135 on, like on the shoulder day, and I, I'll go 100 reps, right? I'll just, it's not 100 reps straight, I wish I could do that, but I'll do, me personally, I'll do it in as many, in, as short of reps as possible. I'm sorry, as short of sets as possible. So this is something I want y'all to try. This is what we're gonna do here. Now, you can pace yourself, that's fine, but <clears throat> I'm doing it from a perspective of somebody in a hurry, right? So I'll do mine as many reps each time. So basically, I'm gonna go to failure. It's gonna make it tougher for me after that, but that's okay, I'm all right with that. I like training like that because I feel like I get so much more out of it versus if I pace myself. If I pace myself, I would prefer to be a lot heavier weight. Training is much more than a physical endeavor. Training is something that conditions your mind to be stronger, to be better. So if you can push through after you've done 80 reps, your shoulders are burning, everything's on fire. If you can push through and get through that, imagine how much easier it'll be at the office. Imagine how much easier it'll be in the classroom. You condition your mind to push through barriers. And that's what we're doing with training. For us, it's much more than just physical development. It's mental, it's spiritual, it's overall human development. So this isn't just a shoulder workout, this is a life workout. And uh, you might be wondering why I'm here. <laughs> I'm not gonna be pressing the same way as these guys, but I want you all to know that everything that you're seeing is scalable. They're gonna do the workout with 135. I'm gonna do it with 100 pounds. So if you are someone who isn't necessarily as big or strong as these guys, but you're trying to be, you're trying to build muscle and get bigger and stronger. We all have a path we're going down. Start where you are. Do a weight that's challenging. If you can bust out 100 reps all at once, that was too light. You weren't even working. Pick a weight that's challenging. For me, I love this movement, the standing overhead press, because it's one of the four key movements that I think everyone should be able to do. Same. This one being pushing something over your head. That's, that's, a life, that's a life common movement that you're gonna encounter throughout your life. Pulling yourself up, being able to stand up, and being able to pick something off the ground. So, AKA, And also being able to throw people over the top, the top rope. Yeah. Once you get into WWE out of the cage, out of or the out the cage. cage. Yeah, if you're in a cage match. But basically you got an overhead press, squat, deadlift, and a pull up. Those are things basic. that everyone should be able to do and this is one of them. And those basic movements, I throw one more in there like uh, with the uh, Master the Basics program is running. Those four plus running will prime your body for anything. Any sport, you wanna look phenomenal, you wanna be in excellent shape. And I, we all stand by those movements. So. I think it's time to just hop on in. I'm ready to go, man. Ready. All right, so listen, I'm all about, we're all about, you know, high volume, as heavyweight as possible, all of that. But we could not do this shit day in and day out without being able to recover fast. So that's, this kind of work is essential to have something in your body that's gonna help you recover. That's where overtraining solution comes in. So Mark, I think we should, for those, bad motherfuckers that really rock with us and are gonna watch this entire video. I'm not gonna tell you where, but we're gonna throw a discount code in here for overtraining solution. We're not gonna tell you where. You don't know when. You gotta watch the whole video to find it, all right?
That's it, come on, uh, go. Tough back to follow, Mike. You got 40. I'll get 10. Pump hurts. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, baby, let's go. It gets harder each set because your break is shorter each time. Let's go. 
Almost there, baby. Let's go. Woo! This is where it starts to burn, like 20 reps ago. How much? 87 plus 7, 94. I lost count. I lost count. I'm gonna do 15 more. Not sure how many I did, Mike. You need a partner? Have you count this? Because I have no idea how much I'm on. I'll do eight more. If you lose count, go for the over. Do more. Fuck it. Come on. Come on, let's go. Push. Huh? Three. I think I think I did over 100. Already. I lost count. I know I've done over 100. They might like 105, 106. I'm gonna take this one to failure. I know y'all can see the pump through the shirt. Cause it's fucking crazy. I got 10 more. What do you call Mike? Stupid pump? Stupid pump. Oh shit. <sighs> Five more. Five. While your partner's resting, if you're done, fuck it. Oh shit. I'm gonna have trouble moving today. I'm on like, I don't know. Mike's got much better form than me though. Let's go finish it off. I think the code should be stupid pump. Stupid. It's gonna be stupid pump. Stupid. stupid pump, all one word, stupid pump. This is the type of pump, you wanna take your shirt off the rest of the day. Walk around like a savage. Come on. Ah. That's it. Woo. Good shit, baby. Hey, check it out. You hear all these people do these elaborate shoulder workouts. 
lateral raise, upright row, handstand push-ups, front raise, blah, 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 shut up. If you wanna get a six shoulder pump, if you wanna build some monster delts, you wanna have striations, you wanna have rounded pumpkin delts, the overhead press, man, it works everything. Plus, pulling weight over your head, I can't even hold my arms on my head right now. You will have more of a core workout. You want abs, you want core, you want delts, this is your workout. And here's the thing, heart rate is up because we're taking a short break, so you get some cardio in too. Best of all worlds. Be efficient with your time. We got a lot of stuff going on. Running companies, running businesses. This is a workout we got done under 15 minutes all in. And we got a better shoulder workout, I guarantee you, you've ever had in your life. So I want you to try this right now at home. Right now at home. Hashtag. Hashtag this like, what do you want on hashtag, bro? Stupid pump. Stupid pump with OO? Huh? Stupid pump. Just for you. No ebonics on this one. No ebonics. Stupid pump. S T U P I D pump. Let us know how you like this workout. Tag us. We want to see it. Try this workout. That's not a game. All right, here you go. There you have it. 100 reps. Um, I'm pretty sure I did about 11 sets, right? But the difference is going to failure and then keep going. So the first set was 40 reps. I was spent, but I kept pushing. Short breaks. Your break is long enough for your partner to get his and then you go right, right on it. If you're by yourself, give yourself like a 10, a five count or a 10 count. You wanna give yourself as short a break as possible and then attack it, go right back after it. It's a lot different, it feels a lot different than pacing yourself out. Pacing yourself is good too, but if you pace yourself, you know, you have a set amount of reps, you wanna do each set, you wanna go heavier with the weight, all right? With this one, we did a fairly uh, lightweight, 135. You can scale it to yourself and just go at it. Just try to get those 100 reps in as fast as, as possible. Now listen, with me doing 40 out the gate, you would think I could finish it in like four or five sets. No, 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 no. Every set it gets more difficult because your break is shorter. That's the beauty of it. You're going, you're pushing through failure every time. And guess what? You get a fucking stupid pump. So, like we said earlier, the discount code for today is stupid pump. All right, all one word. I love y'all, much love.